12.3.1 trigonometric ratios. A such a question. Why are trigonometric ratios essential in solving problems involving triangles? Skill. I can find trigonometric ratios. We want to find using the angle A. Let's label each one. The opposite of angle A is 5. The longest side is a hypotenuse and the other side is adjacent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's 5 over 10. You can reduce that to become 1 half. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The square root of 75 can be broken down into the square root of 25 times the square root of 3, also known as 5 square root 3. Instead of writing the square root of 20, 75, we're going to write 5 square root 3. That's 5 square root 3 over hypotenuse 10. Divide each of those by 5 to simplify. You get square root 3 over 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Five over five square root three. The fives cancel. We have one over square root three. We want to rationalize this though. We don't want any square roots in the denominator. So I'll multiply by the unity fraction square root three over square root three. And then you get square root three over the square root nine, which is three. So tangent of A is square root three over three. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so that's hypotenuse over opposite. That's 2 over 1, just 2. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so that's hypotenuse over adjacent. Two over square root three. Rationalize it. You get two square root three over three. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Adjacent over opposite. That's just the square root of three. Try the other examples on your own using these two triangles.